Imperial examination system. Starting in the Sui dynasty, the imperial government selected its officials from the ranks of the successful candidates from the imperial civil examination. Imperial examination system in the Tang dynasty was classified into two types: the regular one, Tang Ke, and the irregular one, Zi Ke. The regular examination was held every year. It had many levels, such as Xiu Cai, Ming Jin, and the Jin Si. The Jin Si degree was the most difficult to attain. Every year, hundreds of men took the Jin Si examination, but only one or two passed. The irregular examination was set spontaneously by the emperor himself, who acted as the chief examiner. However, it was of less importance than the regular. There are two kinds of people who took the imperial civil examination. One consisted of students chosen by academics, who were called Sengtong, and the other kind, called Xianggong, consisted of those who had passed the examination by prefectures and counties. There were four levels of examination. The first was the county examination, Xiangshi, the provincial examination. Shi, the academy examination, Hui Shi, and then fourth, the palace examination, Dian Shi. The candidate who won the first place at the palace examination was called Zhuang Yuan, and he would be granted a high-ranking position in the court. The one who won the second place was called Bang Yan, and the third, Tan Hua. They will also be assigned important posts in the government. The civil examination featured writing and was designed to select Jin Shi. The candidates were required to write essays in strict accordance with an eight-part form, known for its rigidity in form and strict adherence to the ideology of the ruling class. New ideas were condemned. An essay in this style must consist of eight paragraphs. And each paragraph must be written in a set form. To some degree, its rigid content and form of examination bound people's thinking. We call that the Bagulian. The military examination featured martial arts, including horsemanship, archery, and weightlifting. In ancient China, class consciousness was strong, and many people from lower classes had little chance of reaching high office. Particularly, a position in the royal court. But once the imperial civil examination system was introduced, children from poor families had opportunities to attend the government exams. This enabled them to bring honor to their families. Thus, regardless of parentage or age, nearly all males were now eligible to realize their full potential. So the famous lines can describe such a phenomenon: "Ten years hang窗无人问。Okay, ten year hard study by the window, industrious. One day success known to the world glorious. After the revolution of 1911, China introduced a Western educational system. New learning was such a very different type of school, modeled on Western educational institutions. Replace the traditional official schools. Public schools were founded in all parts of the country, with many subjects of study offered. <laughs>